Good morning. Good morning. So, um, unfortunately, we couldn't go out this weekend. <laughs> Another fail. Another fail, yeah, <laughs> leading on from our weekend of epic failures. Uh, we were hoping to yes. go up to Kingston, but the, um, well, the, the weather conditions aren't brilliant anyway. It's been um, really windy again. 40 mile an hour gusts. Yeah, yeah so that's not nice. That doesn't make it easy. And also, um, there was a <laughs> regatta, was it? Another regatta? Rowing. Rowing. Some rowing club had shut the river down. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we, we couldn't, we couldn't we, we didn't well, have the choice. We couldn't go out. So, um, if we were through there by 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and which, we weren't ready by that time, and we didn't discover till sort of <laughs> too late. So instead, <laughs> leading on from um, what we wished we knew, we were having a think and um, we thought we'd do a video instead about um, essential items. So the things that we have bought that we sort of um, really rely on when we're cruising. So <laughs> here are our top 10 essential items. Hello, hello. Hello. Coffee, coffee up to the captain, please. Kettle's boiling, sweetie pie. So um, the first one for us um, were the walkie-talkies. It soon became quite evident on a wide beam when um, Richard is um, up on the stern driving and I'm way down the other end uh, 60 foot away on the bow um, that trying to shout to each other is, <laughs> it didn't um, work yeah, yeah. It, well you no, can but it yeah about. you can't hear really um, so for us the walkie talkies especially when we're coming towards the lock or leaving the marina to, to the give marina the clear. yeah blind bend you're 60 foot before you can see yeah uh, so, and you shout and you come up with silly hand signals before, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So apparently she's 60 foot away, standing on the end of the boat, and that means there's a little boat coming. <laughs> and that meant there was a big boat coming. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> and that was way back, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you come up with about 10 hand signals, and then you off you went down the end, and I'm just sit there going... I don't know any of these. We no. just have to go out and see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah, these are definitely, for us, um, one of our essential items because it's just so much easier to just yeah. be down on the bow, give Richard the all clear. Um, and then we can pull off out. Yeah. <laughs> Something that, I don't know, you might not need or you might need, we've found it quite useful, or I've found it quite you useful, did. yeah, is yeah. Um, an extending ladder. So our ladder's quite comp um, compact and it sort of each it just rung clips extends, out. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, up it goes. Um, um, again, not something we've really used so much in the winter, but definitely in the summer, I always had it up on the bow of the boat. Um, and just if for any reason I need to climb onto the roof from the bow, I can't do it, Richard. You, no, he's like Spider-Man. Pop some, up and boing, I'm on a roof. He, he's literally like Zebedee. He can just <laughs> boing in and up he gets. There's no way I can do that. So I just literally can pull yeah. it up. It's really, really easy and get up onto the roof of the boat. Um, there's been like, a few occasions when I have had to do that. I think, again, possibly be locks. locks. When, yeah. you're, when you're going in and you're going up, up in a lock, you can't get up there to no. throw the rope so you can get on the roof and yeah 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 so that that was a good one i for me definitely for you yeah, yeah. okay next one this definitely i think this is essential is waterproof gloves so um or even just uh, i even use gloves in the summer i use gardening gloves in the summer you do don't you, you yeah well, you do get rope burns yeah not only that on. is um 
I sort of learnt the hard way. Um, so basically, your rope can pick up thorns and debris. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, I was, um, I, can't, I think I was in a lock. Yes, I was in a lock. I'd sort of thrown the rope and I was pulling it. And obviously, somewhere we had moored, um, it had picked up a thorn. Um, and I got thorn in my finger. And I've still Ow. got a callus on it now. It just um, won't go away. And it was so painful as well. Um, so, yeah. If I'm handling the rope, I gloves. always put gloves on. Check them little hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's advised that you do have life jackets. Um, we've got some quite snazzy ones, haven't we? The got ones. Got the self inflators, yeah. It's just so they're comfy to wear. Yeah. They're just slim line, aren't they? Yeah. You don't really know you've got them on, to be perfectly no. honest. No. Um, we have, let's be honest, we've actually only ever worn them once, haven't we? It's mainly our boat design. Yeah. To actually, you would have to make a very bad mistake to fall off of our boat. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you would, to be perfectly Well, no, honest. because our stern um, is sort of enclosed, isn't it? It's so... is all enclosed, it's got doors, the whole back of it, we've always got the roof up anyway. Yeah. So you couldn't really fall off. No, it's probably, I probably should wear one because... On the I well, do get up onto the side in the bow when we're in a lock. If, when we're in a lock, yeah. yeah. And also, if you're not as confident as well, um, probably a good idea to have a life jacket. We're talking from having done it for a while now, and it feels like it's a bit obvious, but if you're just getting a boat, and I know we've got a lot of subscribers that are new to boating or having their boats. If you don't know, you don't know, do you? You don't know, so no. we'll mention them. Um, it's floats for your keys. So we've got three we've got different sets of keys here. Foamy ones. I yeah. mean, we've got, that's that's the main boat. Yep, yeah. this one. That one, so that's in the ignition for the boat. And that's the only, when we're cruising, that's the only set of keys that are outside the cabin yeah everything else is in a drawer and does not come, come out. out no this one is for that's our fuel cap isn't it fuel cap and water, water and everything else i mean i know that's just these are just three or four quid but if you drop one you've then got to go to the shop and go yeah. and buy another one haven't you? exactly yeah and then <laughs> this is for our little our that's little boat our little boat um, yeah, inflatable. That's yeah, just a so cool when one. we go out in that one, we actually clip all the keys together. Yeah. So that everything's in one bundle, but then it's got two floats on it. Yeah. Diesel and coal boat, bless him. When um, we saw him a few weeks back now and bought some coal off of him, his card reader. Yeah, he put it in his pocket, stepped off of our boat onto his boat, and it wasn't right in his pocket. And as he stepped over, the whole machine just went plop. Straight into the like, water. Oh, that's gone. Which brings Which us to our next one, is fun. having some, I don't know what the technical term is, but some strings for your glasses. If you are a regular glasses wearer, like me, um, having some <laughs> strings on them to stop them plopping in the water is also an extremely good idea. Yeah, we did do that one before, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. because um, get them. if you've been watching our vlogs from the start, you will remember that I sat on the back of the boat in the summer, glasses perched on my head as they always are, all the back cover was down, scratched my head, and my brand new you know. glasses went straight into the Thames and Richard had to go snorkeling. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sounds a bit daft, but good shoes. Good pair of shoes. Or, this, or trainers or something spongy. It and does depend on what you're doing. Yeah. If you live in a board and you're not moving much, I would say, no, you're no. okay. Um, it was when we went on our long break, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've had days where we have, well, when we went on the River Way, we cruised for nine hours, didn't that we? Was, yeah, and you stood there for nine hours. On your feet a long time yeah and Richard is quite static obviously because he does the driving he's, he's, okay on an odd occasion I've driven but it's never gone well um, <laughs> so he's just that. literally static standing on the floor and um, yeah you used to get really oh we got to Oxford tired, didn't and you? my yeah. feet were murdering me I could hardly walk around a town yeah and the same for me as well <laughs> because um, 
I'm static, but then also I'm, you know, walking backward and forward through the boat um, for locks and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, good pair of shoes. And actually, our flooring that we laid on the stern deck as well is anti-fatigue flooring. That's f yeah, that helped a little bit. But so it that didn't, also helps a bit, yeah. So if you're going to be, yeah, doing a lot of cruising or long you Yeah, stood long there long days. periods of time, you want the most comfortable things you can find for yeah, your feet. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good shoes. Yeah, it's worth the investment. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so barge pole. Um, <laughs> yeah, again, another one we thought was quite obvious, but um, speaking to a brand new boater, um, it it's wasn't. The day, yeah, they yeah. turned up. And What's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so barge pole, we have used our barge pole. We thought perhaps we wouldn't get to use it much really on the Thames, but um, I mean, I used it literally last weekend, weekend before to push us off of the pump out pontoon. Yeah. Because uh, we got stuck. Uh, we, well, with that wind, you might have had to use that as well as the bow for us to yeah. be honest. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, definitely used it down the river way quite a few times because <laughs> yeah. we got grounded quite a bit. So yeah, down definitely the, a barge the, Yeah, pump. down there, canals, you'd probably use it. Um, i trying to think, Pangborn. Yes, yeah. The river level drops in Pangbourne by six inches every night, apparently. Yeah. And it did on us, didn't it? It did, yeah. And we, because Thames water, steal it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, we got we got stuck. Yeah. Yeah, stuck in the clay, didn't we? We did, yeah. And we, if we hadn't had that, we would have been there for well, waiting for the water to come back up the next yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But we managed to push off. And just a little tip as well, um, barge poles, they're quite expensive, actually, and they warp, obviously, because you, well, store them on the roof, uh, sun goes on them and then they yeah, walk, they don't they? Bend and all sorts. Yeah, yeah, so we gave us ours a good coat of um, sort of outdoor... That's sort outdoor wood paint. Wood paint. Yeah, just a, the same stuff we used when we'd done the doors. Yeah, the yeah, front. So um, just to try and stop it warping a little bit. Boat hook. Boat hook, is that what it's called? Boat, boat hook. hook. Yeah, yeah, or a boater's hook. Yeah. Or something like that. We've got an extendable one. Um, so again, if you do Cheap. drop, so you might have floats on your keys or on whatever you drop in the water, but then obviously you've got to reach you it. You've still got to get it, <laughs> yeah, yes. as it floats on down the river. Yeah, so, so you've got to be quick. <laughs> the boat hook is designed, it's got a little hook on the end. You... Yeah, extend it, stick it in, but it's good for picking up ropes. If you dropped a rope in the, in the river and it's floating down behind the boat, you can just hook the rope. And you, you'll it find in. some um, in some locks as well. The lock keepers have boat hooks um, if you they're really nice, them. helpful ones, and they'll um, they'll put the boat yeah. hook out for you to put your rope Bolters, on. Bolters, wasn't it? Yeah. Where it's so deep that you can't stand on the roof and even throw the rope. No. Up. So you hold the rope up, and she's got one that she yeah. just hooks it up and flips yeah. it over the post. Yeah. Gangplank. Yeah. So we ummed and ahed about a uh, gangplank, didn't we? Because we were going to get a wooden one, but when we did our um, higher narrowboat, yeah. it was really heavy, they wasn't are it? So heavy. Yeah. So we've Flip got um, some motorcycle ramp, isn't it's it? It's a foldable ramp that you'd put on the back of a van so you can push your motorbike up into the back of a van. And yeah. it was 20 quid. And it weighs, I think it's about six or seven kilos. It yeah. folds in half, so you can get on the roof, fold it in half, walk into here, and you haven't got a massive, great big thing. And you can unfold it and stick it out. Yeah. Great. We've used it a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah, um, a few times. The only thing you've got to be careful of is that it's like a cheese grater. Yeah. So don't walk in bare feet. Yeah, so ours isn't ideal in some ways. It's ideal because it's lightweight and it's foldable. Um, so it met those requirements, but yeah, the top of it is spiky. It's really it? grippy. So you don't slip down it. No. But don't walk on it in bare feet. Yeah, yeah, and like we can't let the dogs walk on it. Dog have to carry like it. Yeah, the dogs because it's too spiky for their little paws. But but actually, it works really well. Yeah. So um, yeah, mm, I mean, again, it. depend. If, you know, if you're sat in a marina, you're never going to need a gangplank. No, it's both round. If you're going out exploring, you never had them. They'll never use one. Yeah. But yeah, um, if you're out in the wilds, <laughs> out the handy. wilderness, yeah. it's definitely a good idea to have one. So sorry that there was no cruising today, but hopefully next those week. little cheeky rowers beat us to the river. 
closed. <laughs> Computer says no. Computer says no, definitely. Um, so hopefully you found that helpful. Obviously they're sort of the things that we, um, you know, we had a good think about it and thought what did we think was really essential for us. Um, you know, it might be obvious to some, but might, might not be at all. You might not have thought about it. So hopefully you found that informative. <laughs> and um, like always, give us a little cheeky like. And if you hit that subscribe button for us, and obviously if you hit the notification bell, then YouTube will alert you um, when we have a new video coming out. Can I also just take this opportunity to say thank you very much to everybody that does support our channel because we've now got a community tab as Yay. well. Woohoo! So <laughs> communicate. <laughs> right stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So hopefully next time we might get some cruising footage for you. I'm going to go out. Yeah. Go out. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.